Hey, Tony here. Today I want to do a little bit of a different video I'm talking about the Barnes & Noble 50% off Criterion sale. Hopefully that's coming up this next week. Um, I thought I would just lead off the week talking about my game plan, my strategy of how I try to save as much as I can, um, and how to prepare for the sale. And then each day I plan on posting a video of my 10 recommendations for each of those days. So you should have, by the end of this week, Hopefully you'll have about 50 recommendations of titles that I would recommend that you at least check out or even purchase from the Criterion Collection. And this may give you some ideas of titles that you might want to pick up. One of the best things I like about the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble, of course, other than just saving some money, is hearing everybody else's recommendations and kind of giving me an idea of titles that I should check out. So on Monday, I plan on giving you five recommendations for Westerns and five recommendations for, of some film noir titles that I really enjoy. On Tuesday, I'm going to give you ten recommendations of suspenseful horror type films that I think you should check out. On Wednesday, I'm going to give you my recommendations of some of the newer 4K titles that have been released in the Criterion Collection. And on Thursday, I'm just going to give you my overall ten favorite titles that I have in the Criterion Collection, I'll give you those 10 recommendations. So that at least gives you 40 titles throughout Monday through Thursday that you can at least check out. And then on Friday, I hope to post a video um, with me and David over at Film Collector Archive um, discussing some of our other recommendations. So let me go ahead and show you what my game plan is and some of my typical things that I do before sale to prepare myself to be able to um, make some good purchases. So the first thing I like to do is go to the Criterion website and locate titles that I'm interested in. Um, so usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to the pre-order items first and then that way I can see what's coming out during the month of July so that I can pick out the July titles that I'm interested in. So we'll go down here toward the bottom. So here's June 25th. So if there's any titles that I'm interested in, then I'll go ahead and check those out. I think I would be interested in this one, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. So what I'm going to do is add that to my wish list for the 4K and the Blu-ray. And then just keep doing this until I get all the items that I want. I'm not sure exactly which other ones I'm interested in. Definitely Risky Business. That comes out July 23rd. I'm going to want to get that. So add that to my wish list. And then let's see if there's any other ones. Yeah, so everything else is after July, so I'm not going to worry about those. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to my wish list and identify the items that I'm going to want to order throughout the month. So we have Risky Business, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. And then these are some that I've added per recommendations. Um, I'm not sure exactly if I want to get any of these during this particular sale. Um, I've already got this one, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Let's see if there's any other ones that I've already got. And then also, I'm going to definitely visit a Barnes & Noble store to see what I can see on the shelf, um, which also helps me figure out if I've got the title or not. Okay, I think those are the ones that I'm going to check out first. And then there's also some that have been released in the past that I'm still interested in. So I'll definitely check those out. I actually added one to the wish list today and that is 45 years so I definitely want to get that and then I'll go ahead and go over to the Barnes & Noble website and then I'll just start adding items to my cart that way I'll know of the titles that I'm interested in and usually what I'll do is I'll just sort them by release date even though some of these may not be released during the sale time at least I'll have an idea of what's going to be available so I will do new releases first. And then anything that I see that I'm interested in, I'll go ahead and add that one, that title to the cart. So out of the new releases here, I'm not seeing anything that I'm interested in. So I'm just going to do shop all criterion and see if there's any that um, piques my interest. 
And I can go ahead and check out the coming soon. And let's see, show at least 40 of them. So I don't have to keep scrolling or changing pages. So I do know that I want to pre-order that. So I'll just do a quick add. I want the 4K pre-order. And even though some of these may not be available, at least they'll be in my cart. I'll go ahead and add Risky Business to the cart. Of course, I want the 4K for that one. And then let's go check out some other titles. See what all of the 4K titles are. So let's see if I see anything that interests me. So a lot of these titles I already have. So I don't really see very much that I'm interested in. But I'll keep scrolling through just to see, just to make sure. Which I'm kind of happy that I've got, already got a lot of these. Now I do have $200 worth of Barnes & Noble gift card that I need to use. Or I don't have to use it right away. But at least I have that available to spend. I'm trying to see if there's any of these that I still need. Go ahead and check out this last page. Yeah, so none of those. So now let's go check out the Blu-rays. Of course, there's going to be a lot of those. Um, let's see. I, I think I'm going to sort these by, let's see if they left yeah, the newest to the oldest. And then scroll down. Let's see if there's any of these that I'm interested in. So I should have two things in the card already, which I do. That's good. Okay, I don't see anything on this page. Now they do have the three colors here. Um, I'm not sure that I want to get those right now. I'll have to do a little bit more research on those. I'm thinking about getting to die for. That's one that I have never seen. So I'll go ahead and add that one to the card. And let's see if there's anything else on this page. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. And so now I'm looking at the titles that I got during the last sale. So I may not need um, very many other titles, but I do want to see if there's anything that I've missed in the previous, um, whenever I looked previously, that maybe I want to add to the collection. But I do see a lot that I've already got in the collection. Drive My Car, that's one that I've been wanting to, to get. So add that one to the cart. There's still a few of these that I haven't, haven't even opened up yet that I need to still check out. Main Push Cart, I think I may still need this one. I'll go ahead and add it to the cart just to be safe. Marriage Story, that's a great one. The Lady Eve is another good one. Surely there'll be some more items that I need to find. Now, I do hear a lot about Haxon, but I'm not sure that I really want to have that one in the collection. Detour is a great one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to page 22 and work my way backwards. A lot of these I already have. Sweet, um, sweet Smell of Success is good. Broadcast News is great. I really enjoy the Phantom Carriage. So My Life as a Dog. I think that's one that I'm going to want to add. The Killing's another good one. So I'm still wondering if Amazon's going to match some of these prices because there there may be some titles that will be available on Amazon that's not available at Barnes & Noble because there is one particular title that I want to pick up and I haven't seen it yet. I really enjoy Badlands. I was not a fan of Brazil. The Game is a good one. Grey Gardens is a good one. The Uninvited. 
personal shopper. I need to check that one out. Okay, so it looks like I've got six titles. So what I'll do is I'll end up using these as my um, idea of what I would like to get so that I don't forget about these titles. And then I will also go directly to the store, shop the shelves. Maybe something will stick out that I need. And then I'll also be checking Amazon and hopefully I'll be able to find some titles on Amazon. So those are my strategies for the week, um, preparing for the Barnes & Noble sale. So leave me a comment below. Let me know some of your recommendations of titles that you think I should pick up during the sale because um, I really do need some help. There are, I'm sure, a lot of titles that I'm not aware of and any recommendations would be appreciated. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we will see you next time.